Hey there folks, the Scottsdale Travel Chick, here to give you my review of the Virgin Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a relatively new hotel with over $200 million in renovation from what was previously the Hard Rock Hotel. In this video, I'm going to tell you about everything this hotel has to offer, along with show you some room types and give you some tips and tricks to making the most out of your stay. Okay, let's go. First up, just to be clear, this hotel is not directly on the Strip. It's a couple of blocks east of the Strip on the south side close to the airport. Some may like that it's not on the Strip, and some may not. Overall, we consider it's actually an advantage, as it's really easy to get in and out of. There are a multitude of restaurants and local attractions very nearby, and it's a very short taxi ride from the airport or the Strip. As I mentioned earlier, this hotel used to be the Hard Rock, but it has been bought and rebranded as a Virgin Hotel. At the same time, the Virgin Hotels are part of the Curio Collection from Hilton. So if you're a Hilton member, you'll get the usual benefits and perks here. As part of this rebranding, it underwent a major renovation, and now it gives off a really cool hipster vibe. Very trendy, but not over the top. We really liked it. As you enter the hotel and check-in area, you are greeted by warm, beautiful colors. Another nice benefit of the hotel is that the parking is very easy and it's free. Even the valet parking is free, as the valets work only off of tips. But unfortunately, the hotel charges a $49 resort fee. Here is what is included. Most hotels charge a resort fee, but at least Virgin Hotel gives you two for one drinks, free appetizer, and 20% off the spa. The hotel layout is an arch of buildings, which surround a tropical pool area at its center. There are three towers. They are called Ruby, Canyon, and Opal. They have a total of 1,504 rooms. The Opal Tower is conveniently situated near the meeting and the convention rooms. And the Canyon Tower is directly off the main casino area. It's at the center of the hotel. It has views of the pool. And the Ruby Tower is their most exclusive. They have their very own entry and concierge desk. The Virgin Hotel is one of the very few hotels which encourages pets. They have a total of 50 rooms dedicated to pet owners and they even have their own pet benefits when you book. We saw all kinds of cute furry little friends walking through the hotel. Okay, finally we get to the rooms themselves. The hotel has 12 different room types across three towers so there are many options to choose from, from the basic rooms up to 2,000 square foot suites. I was able to tour a basic room. Here's a quick video of what the room looks like. As you can see, a basic room is quite nice. This was the room type we were given, walking into our room, which was a corner suite. So thank you again, Virgin Hotels. You have a very small vanity to your right, and it's kind of cool, it has a USB connection there. You walk in and you're greeted by bright colors in the room, with two sofas and a small table to do some work on.
they had a beautiful room here with a king size bed and huge bathroom huge vanity which I totally love and a large walk-in shower with a soaking tub who couldn't love that it actually had two TVs one for the family room area and one for the master bed area overall the rooms are loaded with USB and wireless charging stations in our Ruby corner suite we had 16 USB connections yep you heard me right this is the most we've ever had in any hotel that we've stayed at great job virgin in terms of connectivity and Wi-Fi speed here's the Wi-Fi speed test we did and we didn't have any problem accessing the internet anywhere in the hotel now let's touch on all the dining and bar options at the resort Actually, for a relatively small hotel in Las Vegas, the Virgin has a ton of food and beverage options to choose from. They have a Dunkin' Donut shop. They have a convenience store. It seemed like they had everything in here that you would need if you forgot something from home. They have an ice cream shop. They have a little coffee shop called Funny Library. They are only open till 1 p.m. So primarily, this is for your coffee and maybe a pastry. And they also have a pizza forte. This is where you can get just your slice of pizza to go. For actual sit-down meals, you have nine options to choose from. There is a night market. This is more like Thai restaurant. And I did hear it is kind of spicy. Another option is the Kitchen at Common Club. This is open 24 hours. Great for breakfast. Kasi Beach House. We had a wonderful dinner here and everything from the appetizers to dinner to drinks to desserts were awesome. Casa Calavera great happy hour it's from 4 to 6 p.m and the prices are great and the food is delicious nobu which is their japanese restaurant there is todd's english olives this is more mediterranean type of food there is also a steakhouse it's called one steakhouse and of course it has steaks and great seafood another option is money baby this is also a bar and club at night has great food pork nachos to sandwiches has a large space with huge TV screens and awesome patio and yes they have a beach club this overlooks the Mediterranean colored pool and they have a DJ there. For drinks and entertainment, there are four options for that too. They have a bar called Desert Star. This is in the middle of the casino. It's a circular type casino bar. Then they have the bar at Commons Club. As you walk into the entrance of the hotel, you will find this on your right side as you walk in. This is a great bar to just hang out while your room is getting cleaned and being ready for you to check in. And a pro tip here, there's a secret photo booth at the back of this bar where you can take some fun pictures. They have a sexy velvet room called the Shag Room. This has live entertainment in the evenings. They also have a bar called Heat. It's in the high limit area of the casino, but it's open to everyone. Phew, that's a lot of food and beverage choices to choose from. And if that wasn't enough, most everything surrounds their dedicated casino. It's not a big casino, but it is basically brand new and has all the latest electronic slots, modern sports books, and table games. They have five different entertainment venues. 
the theater, 24 Oxford, Elia Beach Club, Event Lawn, and Money Baby. Check out these on their websites to see availability for shows and times. The theater has 4,500 seat entertainment venue, which supports travel acts like Daughtry and Incubus. The 24 Oxford seats about 688. This is more of an intimate theater with table seating as well as general seating. The event lawn has availability to rent the cabanas and VIP seating. Otherwise, blankets and chairs are not permitted in the grass area. The Elia Beach Club has day beds up to cabanas available to reserve. The Beach Club has DJs like Snoop Dogg, so it's definitely a party at the Beach Club. If you already researched the hotel, then you most likely would have read about the resort pool. While we were visiting the hotel, the pool was closed, but just reopened March 2022. You could reserve a cabana here as well, but you'll need to do this through their online website. Okay, let's talk about their gym and spa now. The gym is located on the second level, directly across from Money Baby. They have a nice sized gym that is open 24 hours, seven days a week. Plenty of weights and cardio machines for any kind of gym rat. They have a spa at the hotel. You can definitely get yourself pampered here. From massages to facials to body treatments, such as anti-aging body polish. Okay, so who wouldn't want that? That sounds delightful. As you walk into the spa, you get the feeling that you're in another world. They have done such a beautiful job with the spa. Check out some of these pictures. Wow, so much stuff to cover in this review. I'm getting tired of talking. But it's time for the Scottsdale Travel Check Score. So I'm almost done. Have to say, we really like this hotel. It was trendy and had ton of dining and entertainment options. It's not on the strip, but feels like the bigger casinos there. The rooms were really designed with tons of USB outlets and decent Wi-Fi speed. And I love how they incorporated beautiful bright colors. Given all of this, I give the Virgin Hotel and Casino a 10 out of 10. They have really thought about everything with this hotel and we will definitely be back to stay again. Until next time, see you later.